Hey, this is Kevin with Consumer Reports, and today I'm doing a review on the Alien Gear Shape Shift Modular Holster System. And specifically, what I'm looking at is their ankle holster here that's inside this bag right here. Because it's a system, I went ahead and uh, had them send me the um, the expansion pack right here for outside the waistband carry, and an expansion pack here for backpack um, to put on a backpack strap. And then also I had them send me a, a thumb release right here. I'll get into that a little bit later. And the holster is going to be set up to uh, work for my Smith & Wesson m and shield here. Now I've got a web page review of this holster system by Alien Gear at my website, GunsumerReports.com. And I'll have a link down in this description to get to this particular page. And on there, it uh, shows you a bunch of pictures that you can look at in more detail, and I provide a lot of comments there also. If you're like me, you probably get several firearms magazines. Um, this particular one right here, I think it's Guns Magazine, and uh, April 2018 um, edition. Not that that really matters, but really what I'm, what I'm showing is I've been noticing these Alien Gear ads um, here in the magazines because I actually get several of them. But I've been noticing them, I've been looking at the ads, and I've been thinking, you know, I, I probably should take a look at one of their products just to see what it is. You know, this particular ad here talks about their shapeshift modular system, uh, easily shifts uh, to 11 plus carry positions. So I've looked at it and I thought, man, that's kind of neat. You know, uh, maybe I'll take a look. Well, fortunately, you know, one of the uh, reps over at uh, uh, with Alien Gear ended up contacting me and asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at one of his ankle holsters. And I said yes, and in the end, again, I went through and selected these items right here, the ankle holster, OWB carry, and backpack expansion packs, uh, so that I could look at the entire system. And so I'm going to start out with the ankle holster, and I'm going to unbox it or unbag it right here and kind of show you what you get and talk through some of the things that I found while doing the review on the ankle holster. Alright, the ankle holster came back like this. And again, this is for a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9. Uh, it says 9 Performance Center, uh, Shield 40, 40 Performance Center, or Shield 2.0, 9mm, or 40 caliber. And it is for a right-handed um, holster system. So, they give you a bunch of stuff, and I'm not sure if I've got everything back in the correct bags or not. But they, they give you several items. We'll go ahead and start first of all with the basic holster. And it came pre-assembled uh, approximately like this. And what you've got here with this system is, is that you've got a foot strap right here. Okay. And I'll, I'll show you how that goes on in just a second. And you've also got the main holster ankle strap right here. And it, and it came pre-assembled at this level, so, you know, if you didn't buy anything else and you really weren't concerned about the modular system, then you could just go ahead and purchase this, you know, take your firearm, you know, slide it in, put it on, and you're good to go. One thing I want to point out right now is I'm going to also put a link in the description to this video that you see here that uh, Alien Gear has done on their ankle holster system. And honestly, they did a great job with, uh, with you know, talking about their, their ankle holster system, showing how to use it, talking about the components that are in it. And, um, you know, I highly recommend you going through and taking a look at this video because I'm, I'm not going to cover some of the things that they cover in the video because I think, I think they did such a good job. It's really self-explanatory. And if you're interested in this holster system, just kind of go there. Either at my website, I've got a link there to their YouTube um, video or I'll put a link in this description below but make sure you take a look at that. Alright the the strap system here for this part right here and I'm gonna go through and just show you real quick. Um, in their instruction manual that they've got here it's gonna talk about all the components that come within the holster and actually if you, you get several if you get a holster and then you get the expansion packs with it like I did, you might get confused with actually what goes with which which uh, expansion pack or holster because there are pieces that look common between them and you know anyway you may get confused. I did obviously, uh, that's why I'm saying this right here. But it also is going to tell you what you get with it 
and in the case of the expansion packs, it'll say, you know, what's not included with the expansion pack that you would be you would need to take from this your main um, holster kit to be able to use with the ex expansion pack to make it work. Now, the upper strap assembly right here, you've got upper strap and the lower strap, which is right here. The upper strap is made from something that they call uh, cool vent neoprene. And it's also got, uh, you can kind of see it right, right here. Not sure how well you can see that. I may adjust the lights here. Hold on. All right, I think you can see it a little bit better now. So you can see it's got a neoprene material here. It's got what they call low profile hook and loop, you know, which is basically like Velcro through the strap here. You've got a, uh, another piece of, uh, we'll say, hook portion right there. And then you've got this area where the holster attaches right here, which is, uh, I'll call it just the attachment point right now. And the holster comes with the outer shell of their holster system already attached. And I'll take that off in a minute. The lower strap, again, it's that same uh, cool, cool vent neoprene. And uh, honestly, I found, you know, in using it, both of these to be very comfortable to use. If you use a short sock, um, it's, it's still comfortable, but, but it's not as comfortable as using a longer sock. You know, so if, you, if, if you're wearing long pants, a lot of times you're probably wearing longer socks already. Um, but some people wear short socks with long pants. I do sometimes, so that, that's how I noticed it. Also, I've mainly worn this um, around the house and on the weekends because my job doesn't allow me to carry any firearms into my workplace and and I also park inside the uh, facility so I can't keep them in my car unfortunately but the uh, the the main use I've had of it has been at night and on the weekends and you know sometimes I'll come home especially here as it's gotten warmer and I'll put on some shorts and put this on and uh, walk around you know all night with it and and honestly you know you you kinda know it's there but it's not like it's something that's bad and it's uncomfortable to deal with. But uh, so I, you know, as far as the comfort goes, I'm uh, very pleased with the comfort that they have on this ankle holster system. Now I'm going to make an attempt to show you how to put the uh, the, the holster system on. It's not going to be as good as they did in their video, but you'll get the picture. So you take the lower strap, you know, put it up under your heel, and then you just wrap that part around there. And so what happens is, is it the lower strap has got a little pocket right here which acts as a stabilizing pocket. And so for the stabilizing pocket, you'll go through and you'll just slide this, this tang right here, um, or support spine I think is what they're calling it. You'll just slide it into that pocket, you'll take the holster, and you can hear the hook and loop around on that side, and then you can take it and kind of wrap it around like that. And at that point, you just go through and then just slide in your pistol. And so, so like right there, let's see if I can get it to where you can see it a little bit better. So like right there, there's the pistol in place. And obviously, you know, I would have put my shoe on after I put the lower strap on. But that kind of gives you an idea of, of what you've got there. And you can adjust, and I'll show you in a minute, the retention level that you've got on this. And it really stays firmly in place. Again, I highly recommend you looking at their video. You know, they show somebody putting it on, walking around, jumping it around, and it really does stay in place. And uh, so I think, I think it's a good system, and it, it's very firm and secure. Now, I'll show you here just, just real quick. What you're going to see, and I'm going to talk more about this in a minute, is that you can actually adjust the ride height of the holster shell on the ankle support system and I'll show that in a few minutes. Now clearly you can use this ankle holster system you can buy it from them complete and I never reconfigure it but you know you're not really taking the uh, taking advantage of the full um, expansion capabilities that you get with this this holster system from Alien Gear and there's actually actually been a lot of engineering in my mind that's gone behind this. And I think those guys have been very clever in some of the things that they've done. And so to do that, I'm going to show you here a little bit. I'm going to take 
this outer shell off of the uh, support here. And to do that, they have these little twist locks. And I'm going to turn that twist lock, do it again. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees. I'll take it off and set it down here. And so what you've got when you take that off, you've got to slide this little piece right here down. I'll do it again. I'm going to slide this piece down. I think they're calling it the ankle slide lock. So I slid it down. I can lift it off. And at that point, I can lift this outer shell of the holster off. They've also got what they call here the ankle adapter that's sitting right here. And again, I mentioned you can adjust the ride height. There's basically six different positions that this ankle adapter will sit in. Okay, so, so you can see right here, if you've got it in this, this first slot right there, if six is in there, you're going to have your holster riding at the lowest point that it can. And, and if you have, um, you know, a very low cut shoe, you know, maybe not a boot or an ankle high shoe, then that might be what you want to use. Uh, so far, you know, I've been, been using it either in the four or the three position. And, uh, you know, that's everything from like regular um, uh, athletic shoes that, uh, that you'd wear in the summer, just regular cut athletic shoes, or even small boot cut shoes. I haven't had to put it in the, um, the highest height yet. I didn't feel I've had a need for that. But I think they actually have in their video, they show somebody with a higher uh, boot on and it's probably riding in that higher height. But they give you some ability to adjust the height here and the total height of adjustment is about, looking at it right now, maybe about uh, nearly two inches. So it's a, it's a good amount of height, height of adjustment. I'll set that to the side. Now, the, uh, the outer shell is what comes on here, and, and the outer shell is really assembled of a couple of pieces. Uh, one piece is on this side right here, it's what they call a trigger guard. And you can see here, when your pistol is in place, the trigger guard kind of helps keep the, the trigger guarded, but the trigger in place against, or not the trigger, the trigger guard against this other side of the shell. Because it's on this side of the shell that you go through and you have your retention that's uh, adjustable right here. So I'll go ahead and pull it back out. And uh, also, real quick, you know, this is a good way to see how they've got a really nice fit of the uh, this particular firearm to their shell system. I think they have maybe 43 different firearms um, or handguns that they they make holsters for, or this we'll say this this particular holster for. I'm not sure the total number, but uh, I think they you know they have stuff for. Uh, Sig and Glock and Ruger and Smith and Wesson, uh, Kimber, Taurus, uh, various 1911s. I may have missed one or two, but you you can go to their website and you can actually see the details of uh, you know what what types of handguns that they can use it for. Anyway, it's a good fit on the holster system. So I'm going to go through right now and I'm going to take first of all this twist lock off right here. So again, I'll turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees. And what you'll notice in their holster system, as you slide things apart, they've got like a tongue and groove arrangement right here with an L-shaped tongue and groove, which you can see right there. And in this case right here, there's a, there's a tongue and groove pair there. And then there's also another pair that's down here. I'm not sure how well you can see that. And those two pieces just slide together. So, so this twist lock, which you think, man, I can't believe that twist lock is carrying all the load. Really, it's just carrying a shearing load, so it's not it's not really the load bearing item that's holding the holster together. It's just keeping these two two pieces in a in a certain relationship between the two. So again, I'll take that off, slide that apart here, and on this side over here, I want to show that they've got their adjustable retention unit. And the way that you adjust it is you use one of these little square edges of your twist lock and if you turn it counterclockwise, I think it's clockwise, if you just flip it over what you're going to see is that there's a this uh, protruding piece right here 
that as you turn it, that protruding piece is going to come further and further out. Let me do it here. Turn it some. So it's becoming more and more prominent. And so what's going to happen is, is that that piece right there, when you put your pistol in place, it's going to hook right, the trigger guard's going to hook right below that, and it's going to create more force that's required to pull the pistol out. Uh, and, and actually, you can adjust it to where it's quite a bit of force. You can also go through and adjust it, and if you'll notice while I'm adjusting it, this little alien head right here is kind of turning around, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of a cute feature, but uh, I'm not sure if that's really that critical. But you can go through and you can turn it around, and there's actually a lot more turns that are required to really adjust the, uh, the force there. And you can turn it to some point right there where, where it'll actually stop, and I think you've actually run out of travel on the screw that's in there. If I turned it clockwise, I can turn it to the point to where it starts clicking, and I think what happens is, is that the, um, the screw actually becomes unthreaded on whatever the nut is on the inside. But when you turn it the opposite way, you know, so far when I've turned it the opposite way, it just threaded back in there. In this state right here, there's no retention at all. The uh, that 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 thing is basically completely deactivated, or it's not engaging. You can take that retention piece off by using the tools that they provided with you. They provide you an Allen key that fits in this screw here, and you can basically take that screw off out like that. And what you're going to see is is this this retention. Um, adjustable retention unit will come off and at that point what you've got is just basically the shell structure or the outer shell structure. They also give you in the bag with it they give you the mating inner shell structure to the uh, to the to the holster system. Now for for ankle carry this this inner shell is really not used at all but because they're selling you an entire kit it provides you the ability to buy expansion packs that we'll talk about in a few minutes uh, to be able to use this shell system with those expansion packs and uh, be able to carry the uh, the holster or the firearm in different locations. In my, my case, again, I'm, I'm looking at uh, outside the waistband carry and, and backpack carry. To assemble this the two shells, if you remember I talked about the tongue and groove um, sliding system. Again, there's the uh, L-shaped tongue and groove on each side right there. And all I did was put the pieces together and then I slid them down to where they're now at the same height. And when they are, you can see that this little pin right there is going to line up on that side and that side. And you can take your two twist locks and put them into place. Again, you know, I think it's a very clever system that they put together. Um, I, actually, right now, I did take off the um, the uh, adjustable retention unit which I'm going to put back on because I'm going to want that uh, I'm going to want to use that feature here but so I'll just take it back apart I'll put the screw in there and I'll put it back in place on that side right there now the inside shell comes with this um, socket right here this splined or geared looking uh, protrusion right here this is to allow you to connect this holster shell or assembly with your different uh, carry um, options like for the outside the waistband or backpack holster carry. And I'm pulled out the, uh, the paddle carry part from the OWB carry expansion pack and I'm just going to show you real quick how that works. You just go through, push the button right there, push that in slide it in place and then it'll lock in place that button will come back out and so now your holster shell is attached to wherever your carry location is that you 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 want to put it at if you want to carry it at a different angles you can see because of the uh, the gears here or the splines you can see you can carry you can put this at various different positions you know, you could have it horizontal if you wanted to, or canted. It's really just up to your preference. Now I'm going to go ahead and reconfigure it back to its uh, ankle carry configuration real quick and put this adjustable uh, retention unit back on. 
Um, while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and say that the, uh, the ankle holster system weighed in at 7.4 ounces, which overall I don't think that's too bad. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, as I was wearing it, I really didn't notice the weight uh, of the ankle system at, at all. It, if I really noticed anything, it was just the fact that, uh, I'm putting this on upside down, it was the fact that the uh, st straps themselves, it was kind of like wearing a tight sock. You know, you could really feel that you were wearing a tight sock. And that was more what, uh, what it felt like when I was wearing it. So I went ahead and put the trigger guard on the back of that. I'll go through and reconfigure it here by putting this piece in place right there. I'll put the holster outer shell assembly right there. I'll put that in place. I'll try to slide it up and lock it in place there. Maybe. Let's see if I got to push down tight enough. Oh, it's already there. <laughs> anyway, so, and then I'll put this twist lock on there right there. Fumbling around with my big fingers. Anyway, so there you have it. There's there's the assembly right there. And got the lower strap there again, 7.4 ounces. It's not really not that heavy. Um, you know, I'm really happy with the ankle holster system. I was really surprised. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't, you know, I don't wear ankle holsters all the time at, at all. And the uh, this is really my first introduction to really spending any time with one. And I was pleased with, with what I've got here. You know, I had the opportunity to take the system down to a shooting event and uh, let a few other people look at it. And, I, and they were impressed with it also. So I'm going to be giving it, uh, using it more over the uh, months and years, hopefully. And uh, I think if you're interested in an ankle holster system, definitely take a look at Alien Gear. And next I'm going to go and I'm going to move to looking at the outside the waistband expansion pack that goes along with, uh, with this. Now, when you go to their website and you order, for example, you order this ankle holster, if you add on items like the expansion pack, you know, they have several different expansion packs. If you add on the uh, OWB or the backpack expansion pack, then you get a 20% discount by adding them on at the time of the order when you place it for, a, like for this ankle holster right here. Next, I want to show how the, uh, the outside the waistband um, paddle holster system works with the, uh, with the ankle holster uh, kit. And so what you get when you order this expansion pack is you're going to only get the things that are required to be able to use the expansion pack uh, with, with your holster system that you've already purchased. And so you get some miscellaneous hardware right here, and I'll show, show that in a second. You end up with a, um, a, a thumb release right here. It also comes with a belt slide right here so that if you didn't want to use the paddle, for example, you could actually go through and, and put this on your belt, which actually I was really happy with the, uh, the, the belt attachment, and I'll show that in a few minutes. Um, and it comes with the, the paddle, we'll say holster attachment, already fully assembled. Again, it's got a, uh, an instruction manual. It's pretty simple. Again, it's going to tell you what you get with the expansion pack, and it also is going to tell you what you don't get with the expansion pack, which is up here, and, and it should include, you know, these items right here would have come with whatever kit that you had already purchased. Uh, real quick, I'll go ahead and touch on this is that they have, they've got a pretty good warranty system right here. First of all, they got a 30-day test drive, and it basically says wear your Alien Gear holster for a month, and if you don't agree that it's the most comfortable concealable holster, we'll buy it back, no questions asked. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, forever warranty, if any part of your Alien Gear holster ever breaks for any reason, we'll repair or replace it for free, no questions asked. Again, that's pretty good. The uh, ironclad guarantee is specific to, all, to every Alien Gear holster, including all parts and hardware. Anyway, I think that's a uh, that's 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 those company that that's Alien Gear basically standing behind their product, and I think that's a good thing. 
So what I've done is just reconfigure the holster um, back to where the inner and outer shells are together just like I did in the previous part of this video. And so if you're, if you're not 100% sure what I did, just, just rewind and take a look at that. You know, I took this, this off the, um, the strap, reconfigured it. So now, basically, I've got your, your holster shell assembly right here and your paddle assembly. And again, it's very simple to use. You just put it in there and it clips in place. Now, you know, I'm, I'm a, overall I'm a fan of the uh, paddle holsters in general. In general, they're easy to get on, relatively easy to take off. Sometimes they snag up a little bit as you're pulling them off. But I found this one to be, you know, comfortable and uh, just like some of the other paddle holsters that I've got. One of the things that I do want to point out is that when you go through and you look at the gap, you know, between the, we'll say this, this piece right here and the holster itself, you know, there's a gap in there. And what that's going to do is actually cause the pistol to be offset a little bit from the side of your body, which in turn, you know, that, that offset is going to put a little bit of weight on it. And, you know, it's going to, I want, it's not bad. It's not like it's going to twist out of your pants, but it's going to be, it's going to have more moment that's put into the, uh, the attachment here. Um, and, you know, if you're trying to put a shirt over it for uh, outside the waistband carry and trying to do it in concealed fashion, then, you know, potentially the gun's going to print a little bit more on your shirt. Now, the flip side of this whole thing is, is that this gap right here, to me, is kind of like a, a con or a negative, but the positive from this whole holster system is the fact that I can take this holster right now and if I'm getting in my car or I'm doing something else, all I do is push the button, slide it off, and now I can put the pistol somewhere else and I can just leave this on, you know, attached to my side. And to me, that quick release feature is a pretty good feature. Um, I'm very happy with that. And uh, I think that's one of the things that they, they advertise in their holster system is the ability to take your, your firearm and, you know, get it and take it off and put it at some other mount somewhere in your car or up under your desk or whatever. But I think it's a pretty, pretty positive feature in general. The price that you have to pay for it is this additional gap right here. In this configuration, this, uh, this, this holster... Uh, assembly right here comes in at about 5.1 ounces. Again, it's not bad. I mean, it's not a very heavy item. But, uh, you know, the uh, back of the paddle here has actually got the alien head um, in there, the profile. You don't really ever see it when you're wearing it because that's actually against your body. But it was kind of a nice, neat touch that they, uh, that they did there. Now, they also give you this belt slide adapter right here. And so what I'm going to do is configure it to the belt slide configuration real quick. They give you some parts. And we'll just go ahead and dump these parts out right here. And so what you'll notice is you've only got two screws, two nuts with the paddle configuration. With the belt configuration you're going to need four so they give you another couple of uh, nuts and another couple of screws. I think they give you an extra screw here uh, for the uh, retention system. Uh, we'll say retention system here if you want to use it and an extra nut that would go right there. I think those are what those are for. They um, give you an Allen wrench. They also give you a couple of these spacers right here and what you'll do is, is if you had like a thicker belt you'd put these spacers right here before you put it together to, uh, to allow yourself a thicker belt. So I'm going to pull it apart real quick and uh, show you that configuration. The, um, it comes apart pretty quickly. It will take just a second. I try to keep my videos as short as I can, but they all, all end up being long. You know, maybe I'm just too wordy. But you can see how quickly that comes apart. I'll drop those screws out. The... Um, Put that aside right there. So what you're going to see is, is that these nuts have got a square on it and that square is going to fit right in that recess right there and that's going to help make that nut be captive. So I'll drop in a couple of nuts there. I'll put that 
piece on right there and go ahead and get a couple of these screws started in on the other side. Like that and get another one going right there. Now the actual gap that that's there as far as a belt width is I think it came in and measured about 1.52 so it's really designed for about an inch and a half belt. Um, I've got a uh, like a 511 tactical um, belt that is pretty stiff and this this system right here this belt slide system a belt went in there no problem and um, it actually worked pretty well so I'm going to drop these other nuts in there real quick as quick as I can I'm going to go ahead and put this little spacer there slide that together there put a couple more screws in real quick I'm not worried about getting them too tight right now but uh, obviously you would get them you would tighten them up when you put them in there so this is this is basically how you would reconfigure what they send you to be a, um, a belt carry system now in this configuration it's just like before you'd slide this on your belt You'd go through and put your pistol in at whatever angle that you wanted it. You hear that click, it's locked into place. Then you can go through and you can put your pistol on or pistol in the holster. Right now I've got the retention very low so let's go ahead and adjust the retention up a little bit. So I adjust it turn and a half so I've got a little bit of retention right there. I can actually shake the pistol up and down. It's not coming out. I'll go through. I'm going to tighten it in a little bit more. Give it even some more resistance right there. And you can see it's a very firm, at that point, it's a very firm click. Now, it slides out. And it comes out no problem. But uh, you can give yourself some really good retention with that. What I found, they also have this... Uh, this retention piece right here and it's 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 a much more positive I mean when you when you lock it in there it's locked and it's not going to come out and so you're going to actually have to go through and press this to be able to get it um, get the pistol to come out and what I found is basically they say right here push down gun then press thumb release alright this thumb release is optional also says that but to me, it would just seemed a little bit awkward, and maybe maybe I just wasn't used to doing that, to to making that action, to to make that happen. And so I'm gonna turn the video off, reconfigure it to that configuration, and then show you what I'm talking about. I took the shell apart, and so this is the inner shell, and so I put the thumb release here on the inside, and it's just one screw that goes through right there. And what I wanted to show you here is you can see how this protrusion, when you push the thumb release that sucks back in you can kind of see how that's going to work and so when your pistol's in there you know you've got a extremely positive there's you're not going to pull it out unless you push that thumb release all right so to kind of show you what I was talking about a second ago I'm going to go ahead and slide these two halves together and uh, so it's a complete unit and then you'll see what I'm talking about so I've got the two halves together Go ahead and put the twist locks back on right here, on this side here, and on the other side right there. And so you can see that it just cl it clicks in place, and you have to have force to click it in place. Now, if I just, it's hard to just push that thing, that button. It's really hard to just push it down just by grip. grip gripping the gun. So what they're saying is, is you have to push down on the gun so that some of the force I guess comes off of that protrusion on the trigger guard to be able to push the button to release it. And honestly I just didn't, it just seemed a little bit awkward 
uh, in the in the carry positions that I have to be able to push down on the holster with enough force to push it and pull it out. So. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of this. I think they probably should uh, somehow another loosen up the tolerances a little bit so that you don't have to push down as tight on the, on the pistol. The, most likely they have a good engineering reason for the way that it's designed that way. It's just I think I could probably handle all my retention needs with this adjustable retention unit on this side and never use this one right here. All right, what I'm going to try to show here, I've got the, uh, the the belt slide in place on my belt, and I've got it on my side. And really, what I'm showing you here is about how it, how this particular pistol rests on me. And you can see here, I've got some of that gap right there, and the added weight kind of sitting out there makes it want to twist a little bit. But I've got a pretty good belt on, so it's doing a pretty good job of keeping it in place. And um, you know, as far as drawing the pistol, you know it retention level right now I've got is extremely low but it seems you know it seems to be good but as far as you know if I've got my shirt untucked right now I've got it tucked in so you can kind of see the the side of my body easier um, let's see here it's kind of difficult being a one-man show in the in this whole thing but you can kind of see see how it rides I've got it canted for a little bit maybe a little bit more than I like but it's no big deal but uh, taking it off is pretty easy. I don't know. Let me see if I can take it off one-handed. There you go. I took it off one-handed just like that. If I wanted to put it back on in some other place, I'll put it back on one-handed. And honestly, that may be one of the strongest features that, uh, that this system has. And that feature right there alone may be worth the price of it sticking out a little bit in this case right here. Now, again, this was an outside the waistband. Uh, carry configuration so you know you're kind of expecting it not to be quite as concealable as normal. The last expansion pack that I got was the backpack holster which you'll see here it came in this bag like this and again it's the, an expansion pack so the shell's not with it and it came you know just like you could see here a couple of uh, stickers and whatnot the uh, warranty card right there it's got this card right here which shows really what you get with the uh, the holster pack and what you don't get because this is really um, it's not included with the expansion pack this is what you'd get when you purchase the uh, the basic holster unit now which in the end what what what, what you get is it's just a single unit right here that's already pre-assembled it's really a pretty simple thing here and the way it works is once this is installed on the backpack strap then just like with the uh, paddle or the uh, belt slide, you just push that button right there, slide your shell into the socket, and then it'll lock in place. And you can orient it at different positions if you want it to have it slightly down on your backpack or slightly up. Now, this, uh, this device here, I was actually surprised with it because when I first looked at it, what you're going to see is is that there's hardly any gap in there. And I'm thinking, man, how's this ever going to um, really attach to my, my thick strap on uh, one of my backpacks that I've got? And I'll show you how it does, actually, and it does really nicely. But to, uh, to disassemble it or to undo it, you basically pull those tabs out right there. And this little buckle piece right here cams over in that slot right there. And so when that opens up, you put this around your strap, and I'll show you here with a strap. You put it around your strap, obviously with this side out. You feed that in there, flip it over, and then push these pins in place. And these pins, even though they look kind of like, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to say Mickey Mouse, but I just did. But even though they look very uh, thin, the 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 strength from the buckle really is this part right here is how it cams over and this is just holding a little bit of force and then they clip in place and actually I think it was really a, a cool idea the way they did that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a backpack here and show you the installation on an actual strap. Now this is a, uh, a camo backpack that I've got that I use for hunting. I've been using it, oh my gosh, for about, I don't know, ever since the, uh, we'll say 2002. and. Uh, Every season, I go out with it, and it's just done great. 
but uh, I've got these thick thick shoulder pads on it right here and those are actually pretty thick you can see the width of my thumb push down the width of my thumb is about an inch so there's some pretty thick foam in there and it's a it's a really comfortable strap here so when I first looked at it, I thought man there's no way that's going to go around there but what I'm going to show you here is that I'm going to install it with the, uh, the the push latch right here in the up position but I'm going to install it by just flipping that over taking that buckle right there pulling those pins out a little bit and then just camming it over and it's like just as simple as that I mean it looks like an integral piece to my backpack right there and it really does it fits tight it fits fits really secure if for some reason I couldn't get it installed on this it was too thick then I could go through and they have some webbing that's sewn through here uh, or looped through here that you can adjust if you actually had a thicker um, backpack strap so from here you can go through and you can put your shell on in whatever position you want and you can see here it's hard to see I got the camera too close but I've got it at a slightly down position and let me move the camera out some alright and so you can see here I've got it installed with the strap or with the shell in a slightly down position now if you'll notice the only retention that uh, that I've got on here is this adjustable retention unit right here I don't have this hard um, um, lock installed it's the adjustable one but I've adjusted it to where you can see it cl it clips in place and so with the force clipping it in place here I am shaking the pistol it's got a full magazine there's not one in the chamber but it's about max weight and it's it's taking a pretty good shaking I don't think it's going to come out but if you want to draw your pistol it just slides right out on your shoulder now to me you know I really I really like this a lot uh, because I can easily take this like during hunting season if I want to go through and carry the pistol when I'm not carrying the pack on my side I could use one of the other features whether it be the paddle or the slide belt slide and then when I go with the pack and I put a big heavy coat on and go with the pack then I can go through and just pop this up here so I think it's a really nice nice piece to have and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to using it this next deer season just like with the uh, paddle or with the belt slide because you got the same feature right here as far as the the gap in here and the socket you know it does sit away from your chest a little bit more than than some of the other holsters that might attach directly to a pack like this um, you know you have to decide for yourself whether or not that's that's a showstopper uh, it this the the quick disconnect feature here I mean that's kinda hard to beat uh, it's more of a cosmetic thing in my opinion on the pack just because the way that the shoulder holster you know fits over your shoulder and it kinda holds it really snug up there so again you'll just have to decide for yourself alright I just want to show you here about the webbing of how it's actually sewn again or sewn into this piece right here and then it th threads through this part of this uh, attachment through this latch or cam over piece right here at the end it uh, goes back around so if you wanted to loosen it or tighten it you would do it by making an adjustment here and then sliding this part of the uh, the backpack attachment all right I'm gonna try to wrap up the review here with some uh, final comments so what I ended up getting for review was the ankle holster system right here and it was a complete kit that uh, to do the ankle holster I also ended up with a um, an OWB expansion pack and a backpack expansion pack. I found that the ankle ankle holster system to be very comfortable, and um, I found it to be secure. You know, whenever I put it on, and I feel like you know anyone who would purchase this, I think as far as carrying a, a ankle holster would probably be pretty happy with it. The uh, the way that the the shell here integrated with the holster system it kept the uh, the pistol flat and tight it against my ankle and I was really happy with that so there's that when you purchase the ankle holster system you also get a full shell assembly and, and what I'm showing again is a full shell assembly here and you get this uh, the socket or the stud right here that's attached to the inner shell and with that you can go through 
with your different expansion packs. This one right here was the OWB expansion pack. It had a belt slide here and it had a paddle. You could take the belt slide part off. You could put the paddle portion on right there and you could use either one of them. Uh, I was really happy with both of them. The, uh, I ended up being more happy with the belt slide because of the ability to quickly take the pistol off the belt slide. So there's a good chance I may end up using that more than the paddle in the future. I've really been a big fan of paddle holsters because to me it's, it's they're relatively easy to take on and off. Um, but uh, I, I have either choice and I'm, I'm really happy with those. As I've already mentioned more than once, the pistol does stand off a little bit from your body only because of the socket right here and you'll just have to decide whether or not that's an issue but the uh, benefit of being able to quickly take it apart like that uh, that feature is a pretty strong feature for this holster system and finally I took a look at the the backpack uh, expansion pack right here which is basically this this unit again it fits nicely around a backpack strap very happy with the fit on this I feel like it's going to be sturdy and secure and last a long time it's the same socket system right there, so you can put your pistol on and you can take it off with no problems. Very happy with that. The, um, the, the retention on the holster, you know, I found the adjustable unit right here was sufficient for me. I, I'm not saying, I'm, I, didn't find, I didn't think that this, um, the unit right here, which is their positive lock or thumb release, I wasn't really happy with that or how it worked with this particular pistol. Maybe it's just a... Uh, a fit issue with this pistol. The pistol that I used throughout the entire review was this Smith & Wesson uh, Performance Center, Center Ported Shield and I was very happy with the overall fit of the uh, pistol into the holster. Uh, that kind of wraps it up. Uh, I'll, I'll repeat one more thing I mentioned about their ironclad warranty. Uh, that's great. It's a lifetime warranty and a 30-day trial for some items. You can actually get uh, a lifetime free swap if you end up changing uh, your pistol with their holster system. Uh, again, very happy with it. You ought to check out Alien Gear and check out some of the other reviews that are on the web and kind of make your own opinion or own decision based on all the information. If you like this review, please like or subscribe or both, and I'll try to keep bringing detailed reviews in the future. Thanks. And one last thing I forgot to mention is that, uh, I, you know, with this holster system that I've got right here, I probably need to go through and look at the Alien Gear website and pick out me a uh, inside the waistband holster to uh, to really make it a complete system to give me uh, a lot of different options and to, to try out the unit. I think I'm going to be most likely happy with it, especially if it fits snug against your body, similar to the way that the uh, the ankle holster did. But again, it's a system of parts, and uh, I think I think an IWB carry a holster really should should round out this system. Thanks.